Look at my penis. Hey, bitches. My name is. Please fucking spell my name right, right here. It is unacceptable. I put it in my descriptions of every video, and you don't understand how much work we spend on making these descriptions look pretty and thought out. I put links there for all of you guys and my name. I even put it in the video, but I know damn well you don't read it. Oh shit, <laughs> that was there. Oops. Also, yes, my mic is taped right now because I broke the clip. We're not gonna talk about that. I've seen these videos in the past where people transition or like have a glow up and they spend thousands of dollars to look like a badass and while i do appreciate the fact that these youtubers are comfortable enough to show what they look like when the camera's off yes i wake up like this it's currently 1 46 p.m because oh i have class in 20 minutes i don't have a thousand dollars to just spend on nails beauty mask, like all this shit. And I know you don't have to spend a thousand to look good. And I do that in quotation marks because it's very subjective on what beauty is. Like I'm comfortable with how I look. High school I was here, college I'm right here. But I can also like go up here if I really tried. So I'm going to really try today because if anyone on this stupid website can talk about skincare and looking better on a budget, it's going to be me. So I'm gonna start off with why I look like this right now. This is from a brand that we don't talk about because I don't really like this product. I just wanna get rid of it and I'd rather not throw it all away. It's basically supposed to dry out the acne or just like little whiteheads that you have on your face. And before I see the, but Frederick, your skin is perfect on camera. It's on camera. You wanna see full HD? I'll give you full HD. Ready? Hair. Hair. Acne scarring. Acne scars. Growing parts of a mustache. Yes, I am a male. I know it surprises a lot of you because y'all think that I'm a girl just because of the last video. Which by the way, I'm very confident with how he looks. So good luck getting me off my pedestal. My ego has reached a new level called delusional. So I know a lot of you guys are quarantined and you can't go out to supermarkets. Oh, this is gonna sound like an ad. But if you go on Amazon, <laughs> there's a lot of things you can buy that aren't that expensive that you can just do at home instead of going to a salon. And by the way, don't go to a salon right now. Like be smart, stay in your home. So I'm gonna show you what Frederick's Asian beauty salon is actually like, cause I haven't done this in a while. First of all, I'm taking off this jacket cause it is too hot. This is a Pikachu shirt, by the way. And I'm gonna wash my face with lukewarm water. Not hot, cause that irritates your face. Going to put on a headband to get your hair out of the way. So by the end of this day, I should have my hair re-dyed cause it's turning brown. Thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna cut the sides of my hair, wax my mustache, eyebrows, unibrow, do my skincare as usual, maybe a face mask. This is also gonna be a little more of a chit chat and you guys like it when I vent out my feelings and I got lots of pent up feelings. So we're gonna get started. If you want to, you can use a cleanser. My face gets very oily at night and I can get away with this. But if you're gonna wax right after, like be careful because sometimes you can wax your skin off. And if you're wondering how that acne medication stayed on my skin while I slept, I've trained my body to not move my face while sleeping. By the way, everything I use will be linked on my Amazon shop. This is the first thing from Amazon I'm using. It is a DIY wax kit. Please don't do this if you're inexperienced. I am not responsible if you lose an eyebrow. So I'm just gonna wait for this to warm up. It takes like five minutes. Fuck, uh, I have a class in like 15 minutes. The reason why I wanted to do this video is mainly because I want more people, especially you guys, because I know you're of a younger audience. Stop lying, you're 18, okay? I did a poll. It's like half of you guys are 10 to 16 and the other half is like 16 to 21. And then 5% adults who watch me for no reason. I still don't know why you watch me, but I know a lot of people out there especially like younger people. Grew up with social media. I didn't have Instagram until I was like 13 years old, 12. But I can't imagine like being eight years old and seeing Instagram models and instantly thinking like, oh, that's a standard of beauty. Cause you don't know any better. No one teaches you that in elementary and middle school. Your parents aren't gonna be regulating you cause they can't. And I just feel like everyone has been getting so much more insecure about themselves. And to make others feel better, cause I know like everyone looks up to YouTubers even though you shouldn't. Like we get insecure too, at least some of us. I don't know, some other people aren't even human and they just like believe they're the shit. I just think they're shit. I've been insecure about a lot of things. Like I used to have a unibrow, as you can clearly tell. My parents didn't tell me to get rid of it because they don't grow up with that culture. Like they didn't care, but my classmates care because they made fun of me. So I got rid of that. And then one of my friends said I had a pig nose. So yeah, for like four years, I wanted a nose job to have that American nose, which, Stop saying you want an American nose. Literally everyone wants someone else's nose. I bet some of you guys want my nose. Like th there's no point in comparing. If we didn't have Photoshop or Facetune, beauty standards would be like 10 times lower. And normal people, and by that I mean people who 
are not Instagram models. Yeah, I'm calling you out. You wouldn't feel as insecure and feel the need to compare yourself to another person. Is this wax done yet? I don't know if you know little Michaela, but she is completely fabricated. She's a digital person. She's not even a real life thing. And people want her skin and people want her nose. And I'm like, <sighs> she doesn't have any skin. She doesn't have pores. Pores are normal. Acne scars are normal. I used to have much worse skin if you go back like four years. Yeah, I used to be insecure about it because I had really bad breakouts with cystic acne. But I knew like, yeah, it's fine to have them. I beat a war with a cookie. This one right here, I ate two dumplings. Anything that isn't a fruit or vegetable gave me acne. Still does, but it doesn't affect me as much as it used to. And I feel like as you grow older, it starts to diminish. But if you just grow up looking at photoshopped people, you're gonna grow up believing you're ugly. And it's not social media's fault, it's our fault. Humans suck, like we know that. Back to the actual video, let me give you a clip. This is what the wax looks like. Yes, I know it's very pretty, don't eat it though. Once it warms up a lot, you just wanna keep it on like the normal setting, just to keep it warm. Cause if it gets too liquidy, it's gonna burn your skin. And yes, I reused the popsicle stick. Blowing it two times and then dab. I've done my eyebrows since I was in eighth grade. Yeah, just like appreciate what you have. I think what made me realize I should stop caring about how much I look or being upset by how I look is when someone told me, God, I wish I had your nose. I wish I had your eyes. And I realized that's the same thing I say to someone else. Like I wish I had double eyelids and then I realized I look stupid with them. So I don't want those anymore. But if other people want what I have and I want what other people have, what really is beautiful? It's nothing. Stop going on Instagram. Social media literally thrives off of your insecurities. If everyone was content with them, we wouldn't feel the need to change who we are. I'm not saying you can't get plastic surgery. Uh, by all means, do what you want. If it makes Makes you feel better. I don't want you to think that's the only solution. Because people who have plastic surgery still get more. So like, where does it end? Like if people who get plastic surgery still facetune, was the surgery even, <laughs> what? That's why I stopped using facetune. And yes, I used to do it like two years ago. I just didn't want to add to that fire. Not even fire, it's a black hole. I hope you guys get what I mean. I'm not bashing anyone for being insecure. Cause trust me, I've been there, done that. Still go through it. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Back to comparing. Let's talk about comparing people. I've done some rants about this, but I never really addressed it. But people compare YouTubers a lot or just like anyone on the internet. And that is part of the reason I became pretty insecure about myself is because people would say, oh, you look like blank K-pop star or you look like blank Asian, which like, is a little racist cuz i'm not i'm not korean <laughs> i'm chinese okay so someone but i just want to know why do we feel the need to compare everyone to every other person what happened to the everyone is born unique everyone can be their own person like what do you get and what do i get from your comment saying, I look like Woozy. It's not a compliment. It's basically saying, oh, you remind me of someone else, but not yourself. You're Eugene, but not buff. <laughs> or someone telling you, you're Zendaya, but with acne. Like, is that a compliment? Or the only comparison I ever thought was funny was Eugene, because you guys still think I'm his son. But because I've been compared to so many other Asians that aren't even Chinese, it got to my head, still gets to my head. And I started thinking like, Frederick, you're just not enough for people. Ooh, that looks so much better. I've been growing these out for like, weeks now and i know people don't mean it out of harm think about if you were in this situation and like hundreds of people said you remind them of someone else but they never say they remind you of you it got so bad i banned the word woozy on my channel like i believe a comment section should add value to the video and i talked about it on a youtube post and then you guys started saying like why does frederick remind me of frederick and i thought that was a really good joke and it, it made me feel better basically everyone understood where i was coming from so i'm glad you guys understand me because i always feel like people won't understand what what I say? And this is like 0.5% people who even say this. Everyone else is nice. Like overwhelmingly positive. By the way, I'm going back over my unibrow because I want to make sure it never comes back. I'm so tired of it. When will my hair follicles stop growing? I'm actually going to go through everything twice just to really make sure I get it all. I put wax dangerously close to my actual eyebrow hairs. Also, what is up with people wanting to tear down someone else for being confident with their body? On my last video, I kept getting comments about, well, not kept. <laughs> I got 10 comments saying like, why does he look like a girl? Or why does he look gay? I don't know what you want me to respond to with. Like, why do you sound like an idiot? If you find those comments, just blow them a kiss. Like, don't even bother being mean because uh, you know you know I don't want to promote that. Unless you can think of a good comeback because I love those. But if someone said those to me two years ago, I would have been really upset. And now I just realized people who shit on other people's appearances are just insecure about themselves and they have to work on it. I'm actually sorry you can't live in my delusional world. 
she may have waxed a little too much there, but it's okay, it'll grow back. Another thing I wanna talk about is the word influencer and icon. I don't like those words. Like, you know I don't wanna even be seen as a role model. Like, just look at me as a friend or just some idiot to laugh at on the internet. And I find that if you start standing someone or like looking up to them as an icon, they start to become less human and then that person starts to feel less human. It just feeds their ego if they let it get to their head. By the way, I'm gonna do my mustache now and this is about to hurt so bad. Like at the end of the day, I am a 18 year old homosexual who is about to look like Confucius and has decided to put his life on the internet. That's it, there's really nothing else to it. Like I would get some comments like saying, you're so perfect, like how could anyone not like you? But, because I'm a human and people don't like humans. Like it's life, you're gonna get rejected. I've been ghosted five times so that makes you feel better. Ah! <laughs> Christ. I'm not a pussy. Ugh. Wow, I'm naked now. But do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want you to have to look as someone on the internet and then start to feel insecure because you're not as cool as them. Because face it, influencers most of the time are fake and they just fabricate their lives to look even better than they actually are. And that's why I don't like the influencer tag because it, it's badly, we're badly influencing people. I like the term fool. This one hurts the most I find. Ow. Ah. Oh, I didn't get all of it. I also might get called out for saying all this shit and people might hate me for it. I'm not saying I'm perfect. If anything, I used to be the same people who were insecure, bullied others for their appearance because I was insecure about my own. But, like I've learned from it now and now I just don't give a shit. And that's why I'm making this video because like I'm doing this because I like to feel good. This is all therapy for me. I fucking love being able to treat myself. Oh God, I forgot about sideburns. Oh, I also have some hair right here because I am Chinese. Okay, I'm not talking while I'm doing that again. I tend to get hair right here and down here, like three hairs. And that's why I should not grow any facial hair because it's so sparse. Like my hair on top is thick, but here is just like non-existent. It's just peach fuzz, but you can still see it because it's black. And I'm not gonna give close-ups of the wax to spare you. Okay, sideburn time. Oh girl. Oh, there's gonna be a bitch. By the way, I like how in last week's video, some of you asked how much my tuition was. I think it's so cute that you guys actually think my tuition isn't a lot. Look up NYU tuition and you'll see. <laughs> Why do you think I don't go to beauty salons? All right, here we go, here we go. Ah, you start to sweat from this too. And sometimes this wax misses some spots because you got so much fucking hair. So I have to do my mustache twice. And that my friends is how you irritate your skin. So try not to do that. <sighs> okay. All right, I've waxed everything. Let me just show you guys what we're left with. These are all of my wax strips balled up and I got class in five minutes. Much later. All right, I just came back from my class. By the way, if you have Zoom classes and you are too lazy to look good, Easiest trick. Back to my morning routine, because I it's four o'clock. Still have yet to finish washing my face, technically. I'm gonna go in with some tweezers and fine tune everything that the wax missed, because you would be surprised at how many little hairs are still on my head, like especially under here. Honestly, all of mine have come from TJ Maxx in just like a pack of five. You know what else I've realized? My brows are not even. They may look even enough, but this one always has a bigger curve. Like it's arched. I like this one more. I also waxed a little bit too much from here, but it's okay, I, I just fill that in. Oh shoot, that's, no, that's not even at all. Let me just make sure you guys get a close-up of what these eyebrows are currently looking like. See, this one, and then this one, I sort of may have shaved that part off, but I can cover that up. This is a good thing that no one's gonna be seeing me. Okay, next step, dermaplaning. Not the professional kind, the one you can do at home. It's basically just like a razor, but like easier to use. You wanna use it on a dry face, at least that's what I think. And this gets rid of dead skin and all the peach fuzz and makes your makeup go on very smooth. If you're like me, I go dangerously close to it just to get those random hairs that I couldn't get. It's also very risky to do. And you can do this like once a week. Some people don't have to do this, I have black hair, so I sort of have to or else you can see it up close. Now that that's done, I'm gonna do my actual skincare routine. I'm not gonna go in depth on it. I've done like enough videos about it. You can go watch them if you want. I'm not gonna explain every step. So I have a lot of sheet masks. I try to do one every day because I feel like I deserve it. By the way, use reusable cotton pads. So today I'm gonna use this hydrogel Korean mask. I got sent like a bunch of random ones from Korea and honestly, they've all worked. I've yet to have one mask break me out. Only thing I don't like about this mask is that it's wrapped in like plastic. Why? 
We don't need this. Can you tell me where this starts and ends? I don't like the ones that are one use, but they were sent to me, so I might as well take advantage of it. I prefer them to come in a big box here. Let me show you. These are great. I got them from Amazon and they come in a box of 30. Don't bother buying them now. I already bought the rest, but I like them because it's the least amount of packaging that I found for sheet masks. Let me know if you find other sustainable ways to do skincare. This says leave on for like in Korean minutes. I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna take out all the extra. Let me get in there. Can you hear this? I can also feel this sliding down my face already. So that's why I use this monstrosity. <laughs> Basically, this keeps my face from sliding off and it looks stupid, but guess what? I've looked worse on camera. You put the things around your ears and then your sheet mask won't fall off. And this was like $2 on YesStyle. I got digits as my code. I'm very proud of it. This isn't sponsored by the way, but YesStyle is like a Korean Sephora, I'd say. And most of the time what I've gotten was good, but there was one time that like I got an expired product. So just be careful on there. I'm gonna leave this on for 30 to 40 minutes. It does hurt after 20, depending on your face shape. What if my nose was... <gasps> Well, I'm Squidward. <laughs> but I'm also gonna do this foot mask. It's from Grace and Stella. They sent it to me. And it's those ones that peel your feet. And I was like, that is so cool. I've never done that before. Always wanted to. I can do it here. My skin can peel as long as it wants. No one's gonna look at me. So I'm gonna try these out. And I'm also going to not show my feet just to tease the foot fetish people. Just know that I'm putting them on my feet. There you go. Wash and soak my feet in warm water for about 10 to 15. What? I have to wear this foot mask for an hour? I thought this would be relaxing. This is work. This is what it looks like. These are huge. Are you, what? Whose feet are this big? I'll just show you what this looks like once they're on. So I accidentally cut off the whole strip thinking that it would fit on my feet. And I realized you're supposed to cut like only the amount for it to fit in. So it should wrap around your ankle. So I kind of have some extra space. They said put socks over them and don't move as much. So I'm just gonna hopefully pretend that's enough. This feels gross. This is not what I had in mind for a relaxing beauty day. Oh my God, how does the mask look like it has a monolid too? Okay, while I'm stomping on that random fluid. I guess we can do my hair. I don't see how it could go wrong. Like might as well color it before I cut it. I'm gonna take this off because I need to actually be able to see what I'm doing. If you can't tell, my roots are growing out and they're brown. I don't know how to get it to transition from like black to silver. If anyone wants to tell me. I also don't know if I have to put developer in with here. I think I have to. I'm going to. You let me know if I'm doing this wrong. Like 50% dye, 50% developer. It smells bad. I'm gonna open the door before I pass out again. And I'm also gonna put like a few drops of purple. Just, I want a little bit of a tint. And then some developer. So this is my concoction that I've come up with. Mix to activate. They try to cover it up with some floral scents, but no, this still smells bad. How are we going about this, Frederick? Are we dying from the bottom up? Top, bottom? Who comes first, the top or the bottom? You know what I think? I think I'm going to wrap this up. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna slowly take some from the bottom, right? Like we're gonna do this and we cut it off. I know I should use tin foil, but like I really don't want to do that. Oh, why am I protecting my face? I have a mask on. That's why I'm doing this, of course. Mastermind over here. Please let me know if I should be putting these on my roots. I probably, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. That's gonna make them brown, right? I've never said I was a professional. I never said that. You know, my friend told me that I'd be the only one who still looks like myself when we go back to college because I have to present myself to an audience every week. But like, this could totally change it. I could look much worse in one hour. This chemistry experiment that's going on down here is, I don't know what I did. Ow, nothing touched me, but the fumes touched my eye. I know I didn't lighten my hair as much as I could have. Maybe next time, I don't have bleach at the moment. I just realized that light wasn't on, sorry. So you can just see how bad I look right now. Tell me this doesn't look like a mess going on. Trust the process, kids, I will become beautiful. Sorry, not beautiful, more beautiful. Cause that was pretty before. That's what I tell myself at least. If this does not fix my brassy hair, that's why I bought even more purple shampoo. This is too much upkeep. I'm gonna shave my head off, I'm not. But I will one day, since all of you keep insisting. I think I got everything. I'm just gonna roll it up, you know, pancake it down, and then ask my mom to cut my hair right now. That way she can't cut the top of my head, cause she insists that my hair is too long. All right, so after 40 minutes, my hair should be cut. I'm gonna take a shower. This mask should be done, and my foot mask should be done. I should be beautiful by then. I have returned from war. I'm gonna take a shower, because I have hair all over me. Look at my penis. Okay, I swear 
I put a drop of purple in this mixture, but if it wants to go ahead and be all like this, whatever, let it. I know it'll fade back to silver. I just have to get rid of that purple. Okay, maybe I put two drops. Maybe I put like the length of an average worm amount. I don't know. This should not have been that purple, I feel like. Either way, the haircut looks great. Thanks, mom, because I know you're watching. You guys have always wanted a hair routine. I don't know what you think goes behind the scenes, but let me show you. Towel dried hair. Next, flick it around to air it out. Actually, maybe I should cut off some of this side. Do you see the length difference? My mom's like, it's fine. You'll get a man bun in the summer. No, mom. This is not how you cut my hair. All of this is way too long and probably has some split ends, so I'm just gonna cut like that much off. Ready, ASMR. Now you know how my hair feels. Now, we blow dry on medium heat. You're gonna take this and you're gonna shape the hair to where you want it to go because I got thick Asian hair. It's very hard to maintain in the morning. See this motion? Do you see this motion? Ready? Shake it out a little bit. Up, down, left, right. Get that floof action. And then this is basically my hair. If it's a little bit dry, add some oil to it. This is from The Ordinary. It's the Hemi Squalane. And I add it to the ends. Okay, so I have purple hair, not silver anymore. <laughs> I can see the hints of silver still. Hopefully if I wash it enough, it'll just go back to its original state. I guess Lavender Moon and purple hair dye don't make silver. So read your labels, kids. So yeah, this is my hair routine. I don't put hairspray. I don't like product. I hate that feeling in my hair. Only product I use besides this is dry shampoo. So I've done basically everything on my face. I'm not gonna do foundation today just because it's 7 p.m. But I will put on some makeup. Priming my face. All the necessary makeup products will be in the description. I'm not gonna link eyeshadow. Like I have some acne scars right here, but foundation is too much right now. I don't want it on my face. You all know my gripe with it. <laughs> because I have no eyelashes, we're gonna be using this lash curler from Muji because I thought it was so cool, but also like incredibly weird. You won't see a difference, trust me, but I like to believe there is one. I've never had this shade of purple yet. I've only had like a a reddish purple. Some blush on the nose, obviously. Looking like a true clown. Random highlighter that I took from my friend. Oh, oh, too much. Oh God. And okay, last week I had makeup on, obviously, and the video was Minecraft themed. So yes, I got like a bunch of Minecraft children commenting like, why is it a guy wearing makeup? Oh my God. It's like, shut up. Why do you even have a YouTube channel? You know, you have to be 13. I shot a palette. This one's expired, but it has all the colors I need. Take the black shadow and fill in those spots that you couldn't get. See? There, now they're even. And I don't need to fill these in, but I'm really trying to get rid of this palette because it's in the way. And I've used this every single day on my eyebrows and I still haven't hit pan on the black shadow. I don't know what to do. Next, just take a brown and put it over your eyelid. Like literally just, I don't care too much. This doesn't show up. And yes, I'm trying to make that like, oh, I have eye bags over my eyelids look. Cause you go from like, oh, it's Frederick to ooh, it's Frederick. I want that ooh, ready, ooh, and that is, all the patience you're gonna get from me with eyeshadow. Finally, my lip. Everyone was wondering what lip gloss I used. I think it was a dollar in New York City. A little bit on the bottom. Do that. Yes, you're seeing this correct. It's a dollar lip gloss. If it's over a dollar, I'm not buying it. Glob it right there. Bam. Mm, that's a little too red for me. This isn't that tinted. I think I put too much of the other gloss on. I'm just gonna, yeah, there you go. And then we put on my trusty bucket hat, glasses, and I'm ready to hit the road. Actually, I'm gonna put on an outfit for you guys, so I'll be right back. Hey. All right, this is the final look of why I'm acting like I'm on Drag Race. I don't know which side is better for a lemon earring. Let me know which one, both left, right, and my sunflower bucket hat. Ooh. Never mind. I just looked at myself. I'm happy with this change. It's a nice change. I haven't taken care of myself like this in a while. Oh, I have two necklaces on, by the way. Go ahead, you can call me an e-boy, but at least I don't have the bad attitude on TikTok. Don't compare people, don't compare yourself to other people, love yourself. Subscribe, like, comment, notifications, okay? Hit it. I'll see you guys next week for something fun. Maybe on April Fools. You don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen in quarantine. But as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Would it be backwards for, no, no. No, it wouldn't, would it? I don't know. And let me wipe this all off now.